In the previous video of this series, I showed you how to create a custom theme for Rad Date Time Picker. We still have one more thing to do though before the Edit Appointment dialog is completely themed. In this video, we'll continue the process by creating a theme for Rad Button, Rad Spin Editor, and Rad Separator. Let's get started. So as you can see, here is the test application that we've been working with throughout this series. So I'm going to select an area and I'll right click and select New Appointment. And here is the Edit Appointment dialog that we've been working on. And as you can see, it still has these blue separator lines. This is actually the RAD separator, so we're going to create a theme for this. And then here is the Spin Editor. And as you can see, this has already been partially themed because we've probably updated repositories uh, for different controls that this control is also using. And then finally, we're going to be creating a theme for Red Button. As you can see down here, it's also been partially themed, so we're only going to need to make a few changes to complete that theme. So let's switch over to Visual Style Builder now, uh, where we'll begin creating our theme. So I'm going to select Visual Style Builder, and I'm also going to open up my Colors text file, which contains uh, the colors I've been using as I've been creating these various themes. So in Visual Style Builder, to open the theme, I'm going to go to File, Open Package, and I'll select my Smoke Theme package file. So the first control that I'm going to update is going to be Rad Button. So let's expand into this, and as you can see, it has a pretty simple element structure. So I'm going to select Rad Button Element, and let's also select to show only the repositories that have been applied. And so if we take a look at this button, as you can see when we hover over it, it turns a gray color. That's because this repository has probably already been updated somewhere else. And if we click on it, the mouse down state has also been updated as well. So the only state we're going to need to worry about is its default state. So the first thing I want to change is the font color. As you can see, the font is currently blue. So to change that, I'm going to select its normal button color text repository, and we'll expand into that. And let's change its default text color to be black. So I'll just select black, click OK, and OK again. And now the next thing we need to change is its fill color. So I'm going to switch to the button fill primitive, and we'll expand into the button normal fill. And then here, I'm going to use my regular fill color. So I'll copy that. We'll paste in the primary color of my regular fill color, and then we'll also paste in its secondary color as well. And I'll click OK, and here is our completed button. This is actually fully themed and ready to go. So now that our RAD button is complete, let's switch over to the RAD Spin Editor, which is going to be the next control that we update. So I'm going to scroll down, and we'll select RAD Spin Editor from the control structure. And let's expand into it as well so we can see all of the different elements that make it up. And if we look at the control real quick here in the preview, as you can see, the background has already been themed and the buttons have also been partially themed. So what we're, the only thing we're really going to need to theme with this control is its default state for these buttons. So I'm going to select the up button and let's select the rad arrow button fill and we're going to update the Spin Editor button fill, and this repository is actually being applied to both the up arrow and the down arrow button, so when we change it, it's going to change for both of those. So I'm going to expand into it, and let's again use my regular fill color, so I'll copy this and paste in the, the uh, primary color, and we'll also paste in its secondary color as well, and I'll click OK, and now the button's fill colors have been updated. So if we hover over them, they change, and then we can also click on them because they have a mouse down state as well. And with that, our Rad Spin Editor is fully themed. So the final control I want to theme is going to be Rad Separator. So I'm going to select that here in the control structure. And as you can see, it's just a pretty simple control. All it is is a line. So I'm going to update its line 1 and line 2 elements. Let's start by updating line 1. So I'll select that. And as you can see, it has a repository called Dark Sky Blue. So I'm going to expand into that. And let's use our regular border color for that. So I'll copy that. We'll paste it in. And I'll click OK. And now let's also update line 2. So I'll select that. And let's expand into it. 
and I'm going to paste in the inner border color. So I'll copy that and paste it in and click OK. And now our rad separator is fully themed. So now that we've themed the rest of these controls, I'm actually going to save out the theme. So I'll go to File, Save As, and I'll click OK. And let's switch back over to Visual Studio once again. And I'm actually going to drag the theme that I just saved out into our test application and replace the old version of the theme that already exists there. And if we look at the code behind in this application, as you can see, it's loading the theme from the package resource and then to actually apply the theme to Rad Scheduler, I've merely set the theme name value of Rad Scheduler to be Smoke Theme, which is the name of our theme. So since all of this has been set up, let's go ahead and run the application and take a look at it in action. And so here is Rad Scheduler, and I'm going to select an area of it, and I'll right click and go to New Appointment. And here is our fully themed Edit Appointment dialog. As you can see, the rad separators are now themed, the spin editors are now fully themed, their buttons are fully themed, and then the rad buttons at the lower portion of the screen are now fully themed as well. So with that, that completes the theme that we'll be creating specific to the edit appointment dialog and the primary rad scheduler control. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to theme the rest of the controls on the edit appointment dialog of rad scheduler. Thanks for watching.